You all love my video showing you how to run a dual PC streaming setup using the Wavelink software. But many of you asked, how do you run a dual PC setup using a Go XLR? Well, buckle up, because I'm going to show you. And since I don't have a Go XLR, we have to turn to our fancy dancy whiteboard. In this setup, we have our streaming PC, our gaming PC, and our Go XLR in the middle. Start by connecting your microphone to the Go XLR using the XLR input or the microphone input. Connect the USB from the Go XLR to our gaming PC. And I know one of the options is to connect our Go XLR to our streaming PC and run it from there. However, in this tutorial, we're going to use our gaming PC to run it. Connect the line out of your Go XLR to the line in of your streaming PC. Be sure to use the line in and line out, not the microphone in and microphone out. Now, connect the line out of your streaming PC into the line in of the Go XLR. This is important if you want to hear those OBS alerts coming from your streaming PC. And finally, connect your favorite pair of headphones to your Go XLR. Now let's go into the Go XLR software on our gaming PC and set up the routing table. There's several ways to do this, but here's how I would set it up. Starting with your microphone, make sure you route it to your line out and your chat mic. Remember that your line out will go to your streaming PC. Next, if you're playing with a group of people and you're using something like Discord, make sure Discord outputs to your chat, and then make sure chat is routed to your headphones and your line out. Do the same if you have any music applications running. Under game, let's route it to our headphones and our line out. If you're running a console, make sure to route that also to your headphones and your line out. The Go XLR's line in is coming from our streaming PC, and you're going to route that to your headphones. For your system audio sounds, make sure you route that to your headphones and your line out. Finally, if you're running any samples, make sure you route that to your headphones if you want to hear those, as well as your line out and your chat mic if you want your chat in Discord to hear those. The final step is to make sure your OBS is capturing the line input from your Go XLR. As I said earlier, I don't have a Go XLR, so I can't give you a full demonstration. But if you could, it would be super helpful if you tag TC Helicon in the comments below. Maybe if we get enough people in the comments to at TC Helicon, maybe they'll send me one and I can give you a full demonstration. Thanks, and I hope that helps.